Well, let's get it started in here. As we mentioned last week, we are celebrating Sober October. Yes. And my buddy Brad uh, said something publicly on Facebook that I was like, oh, yeah, I've been thinking that too. Right. Yeah. Do you ever have an idea kicking back in the back of your head in the back burner? Mm -hmm. And then you see somebody else uh, have it too. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I should take action on that. Like suddenly Mm -hmm. your idea is validated. Matter of fact, and you take action. That actually also happened to me with this same thing. Oh, because I'd also been kicking it around in my head, and then you came to me and you said, "Hey, should we do this?" And I said, "Yep, we sure should." <laughs> what we're talking about is there's a whole slew of these new beverages that are supposed to give you some sort of. These are supposed to be relaxation beverages. This is a brand called Recess. It's the hottest and highest rated one on Amazon that I could find. And this, <laughs> this <laughs> prematurely burped. I know. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> this one's called Recess. And um, this particular variety pack contains mm-hmm. grapefruit tangerine, which is what I'm going to have. Right. Mm-hmm. Lime citrus, mm-hmm. raspberry lemon, and then what you're going to have, strawberry rose. Because of course I am. <laughs> so let's, let's, uh, let's sober October this up here. Yeah, I like it. All right. And, and we'll let you know, 20 calories each, that's not bad. It's just, that's you know, adaptogen-infused sparkling water, basically. Okay. So the second, so first it's um, filtered water. The second ingredient in this is a strawberry rose tea infusion. So, so it's got a tea infusion, okay. And I'm, I don't even know what adaptogens are. I know Ooh. what nootropics are. That's nice. And they're not scary. Uh, this is tasty AF. This is a great flavor. Yeah. Well, and this tastes like real strawberries, not the artificial strawberry flavor, Mm -hmm. you know, which is really nice. Remember a couple Christmases ago where Coke came out with a cinnamon Coke? Mm Mm-hmm. It was a natural cinnamon. It wasn't hot tamale candy cinnamon. Right, right. It was like a, um, it was a a stewed cinnamon stick. Ooh. Like you'd have in some wassail. Mm. That's nice. I wonder if there's some way to sort of um, recreate that. Also, would you want to trade these for a sec? Yeah, let me try yours. Yeah. Okay. We sometimes trade beverages just to prove we're in the same room. Five feet apart. Ooh. That's nice. I like mine better, but this is really nice. Is it just me? Maybe because I switched from the highly acidic grapefruit tangerine. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But does your... Strawberry rose kind of have a little creamy taste to it, like oh. like the polar orange or the LaCroix mm. key lime. I think it does, actually, yeah. It's got yeah. a little hint of vanilla. Yeah, which I really like. It could be the rose, too, that you're right. getting that nice floral sort of right. flavor. Yeah. Well, we'll just sip on these throughout the show, and if we're loopy by the end, it's either because it's mm. really, really late at night. <laughs> Because we're just getting back from Terrifier 3. Yes. <laughs> or there's something in these. They're, no, they're not supposed to make you loopy at all. They're just relaxation. What does it say? It says calm, cool, collected. All right. We'll be calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. After this. That'll be nice. I wish. <laughs> we're almost never that way. Right. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. 